how to fix Fortnite an error occurred while initializing pre-strike and later ESPINIT001 error. So after the update, if you're facing this issue, I'll show you some simple steps how to fix this problem. Now one thing you can note down here that these steps you can try on any console, let's say you're on PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or even on PC. The first and foremost thing what you have to try over here is, if let's say you're on console, whether it's a PS5, Xbox, you can try hard resetting your console. For this, whichever console you're having, first completely turn it off. Once it is turned off, remove all the wires from the console. And when the wires are off, hold the power button if there is any remaining power left. Once it is done, connect back all the wires, wait for a couple of seconds, turn back the console on and then try to sign in into your game, see if that helps. Next step that you can try is, let's suppose this issue is happening on the PlayStation 5. So what you have to do is, you have to press the PS button on your controller and then select cache and rebuild database. Then select system software cache. Click OK, wait for the console to restart. Once it is done, try signing into your game, see if that helps. Next step, this you can try on any console if you're having whatever internet you play on, simply just change it for a couple of seconds. For example, let's say you're playing on a Nintendo Switch and you're having this issue, I would highly recommend you, whichever connection you're having, let's suppose you play on your ISP and you're playing through the Wi-Fi, simply disconnect that connection and the best thing you can do is you can turn on a mobile hotspot and then connect it to the console and then try signing in. Once it is signed in, then you can connect back with the previous ISP which you have and then you can play the game. So this is just to bypass that error part where it tries to sign in but it's not able to sign in because of this issue. So I would highly recommend you to turn on your mobile hotspot, connect it to the console, whichever console you're having and then try to sign in. Once it is signed in, connect back your previous Wi-Fi or the LAN connection whichever you use in order to play the game generally and then try your game, see if that helps. Next step you can try is to sign in to some other platforms. For example, let's say you play on Xbox and are facing this issue, I would highly recommend you to let's say download the game on your Android phone and then try to sign in. If the issue is not there and you're able to reach the lobby, at that very moment you try to sign in with your Xbox and see if the issue is coming up. If the issue is still there, then probably it's an Xbox issue and you have to wait like one or two hours and they will patch it up. If it is not, probably it will be a massive server issue from Fortnite and they will eventually fix it. Next step, you can try to change your DNS server manually if you're on PlayStation 5. Firstly, go to your home menu and select system settings. From here, select internet settings and go to connection settings. Select internet connection and then select change settings. Select change DNS and select auto obtain DNS to know and then select the detailed setup. Over here, you will see primary and secondary DNS. The primary DNS you have to choose as 8888 and the secondary DNS would be 8844, which is the Google public DNS server. But if you're still getting the issue, I would highly recommend you to choose the Cloudflare DNS server, which is much more stable one, which is 11111001. Once it is done, click on save, click OK, restart your device and then try signing into a game, see if that helps. Another thing that you can try is, or probably many players miss out because of this, these issues can happen. So what I have done is I have opened any one of my browser and just signed in with my account as you can see over here. Now over here you have to click on this and come to your accounts page and then you will come to this particular page over here. Over here you have to choose this apps and accounts. Now let's suppose that you play on PlayStation, Nintendo, Switch, Xbox or any of the account which you have as you can see all of them are here. Now it may happen that you have played the game in some PC or let's say in some Android or sign in or probably have connected your PSN account with the PC in order to play the game and you forgot it to disconnect and now you're trying to log in with the PSN account with some onto your console but because of this thing which is connected over here it's creating some kind of a conflict and it's not able to sign in. So in that case what you can try is if you are connected with your PSN account and you have played the game on some random device or let's say a PC or something you would see the word disconnect coming up over here. So I would recommend you to click on disconnect and then you try to sign in on your console. We just want it to bypass that loading page and then come into the lobby and everything would be fine. So try this step that you either disconnect or connect whichever is shown and then try to sign in or log in into your game see if that helps. So those were the steps in order to fix this problem. If you still have the issue, let's say on any other console, in Nintendo Switch, Xbox, or let's say even on PC, you can put that in the comment section. I'll provide you a better fix for that. And if in case I'm not able to reply to a comment, you can go into my X handle, put a screenshot and do tag, letting me know that which console you're having the issue. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.